this is gonna be a very long video and uh, this is a risk an indirect response to a, a tweet I just saw from a very nice person. I must agree with this comment indeed, but this, this, oh, so satisfying. Hello everyone, Ricardo of here. So uh, I want to record this video. This is, this is going to be a reaction to a video of PewDiePie called It's Cancel Culture, Good or Bad. This video is gonna base on a talk I just had with a friendly DJ, I know, from Twitter and from uh, the Brony community. Please, BBC, don't copy strike me, this is a uh, fair use, like I'm commenting on this. And when I saw this thing about cancel culture, I remember, wait a second, I haven't watched that video from PewDiePie yet. This might be about the same subject, more or less, so yeah. So let me read the article. J.K. Rowling joins 150 public figures warning over free speech. Some 150 writers, academics and activists, including authors like J.K. Rowling, Salman Rushdie and Margaret Atwood, have signed an open letter denouncing the restriction of debate. They say they applaud a recent needed reckoning on racial justice, but argue, but argue it has fueled stiffing of open debate. But argue it as food stifling? What, what, what does that word mean? I'm not English. Oh, suffocate, suffocating. It's like, yeah, I understand. Now I understand. Several signatories have been attacked for comments that's like... Several signatories have been attacked for comments that caused offense. Boo hoo. Sh I wrote my opinion. I got offended, Karen. That includes a reporter author J.K. Rowling, who was fiercely who was fiercely criticized this month for comments about transgender people. Boo hoo hoo! More Karens and Josh or Paul or or whatever is the name of the the male version of Karen. You're always politically woke and all that stuff. I, you should get over that quickly. The world the world is messy. There are ambiguities. People who do really good stuff and have flaws. People who you are fighting may love their kids, share certain things with you. And, and, and I think that one danger I see among young people, particularly on college campuses, Malia and I talk about this. Yara goes to school with my daughter. But I do get a sense sometimes now among certain young people, and this is accelerated by social media, there is this sense sometimes of the way of me making change is to be as judgmental as possible about other people. And that's enough. Like if I tweet or hashtag about how you didn't do something right or use the word wrong verb or... <laughs> I can sit back and feel pretty good about myself because man, you see how woke I was? I called you out. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, honestly, it's like the worst thing in the whole world. <laughs> like, it truly is like, because it's, it's really hard to feel like you're misunderstood. At this point, you've probably heard about cancel culture. Like if I tweet or hashtag about how you didn't do something right or use the word wrong verb or see how woke I was, I called you out. <laughs> it's essentially a modern day form of boycotting, but in the digital age. And while some people have been canceled for very good reasons, others, like Manny Gutierrez, feel they were unfairly targeted by an angry internet mob. I think it turned out beautiful, to be honest. Manny wasn't always a famous makeup artist with millions of followers. He grew up in Southern California and worked at a makeup counter at the local mall. Eventually, his makeup tutorials took off online and he amassed a loyal following. <laughs> How are you guys doing this a wonderful day? Until summer 2018, when a feud with a group of fellow YouTubers spiraled out of control. And Manny was cancelled. And I want to talk about how toxic and disgusting cancel culture is because I know firsthand what it feels like to be cancelled. You know, for me, it's been a year since I, you know, was cancelled online. And for, I wanted to kind of give an update of like where I've been mentally, uh, emotionally, you know, spiritually, I mean, in every sense of the word. And I really wanted to just kind of talk about it and like be real and honest with my audience because like, you know, they've been on this journey with me for years and years and years. It didn't take long for Manny to lose many of the followers and sponsorships he had worked so hard to develop over the years. Like right in the midst of it, when it was first happening, I had lost like hundreds of thousands of followers. Like it wasn't like I lost 
couple thousand, a couple thousand, a couple. It was hundreds of thousands of followers. Yeah, I I haven't read the entire article because it's a bit hard for myself to be focused, as you might already know. But I think I understood the point of this article and what is cancel culture. Uh, let's react to the PewDiePie video, shall we? I love, oh! I love those interests. Cancel culture, left and right. People are getting canceled. Who's next? Felix Shelberg, I'm coming for you. <laughs> You're about to get canceled. You're done. I know all your secrets. <laughs> you don't say, PewDiePie. Uh, not funny. You should not joke about serious things. Sorry. You shouldn't. I forgot. Uh, today we're doing a video on you beliefs. Should we cancel celebrities for their crimes? where they discuss about cancel culture. They'll gather people in a room, some are for cancel culture, other people are against it. Let's hear what they have to say, and I hope I can give some insight as well. As a YouTube epic person, <laughs> let's go. Mark Kelly, bye, I'm done with you, get out of here. Like, But that's in your opinion. <laughs> yeah. I'm not saying I'm yeah. for R, R. Kelly. I just think if you support him, you're a dick, right? Yeah. I mean, and then I it's their yeah. right to be a dick. There you go, everyone. Everyone hates R. Kelly, no matter what side on the spectrum you're on. We can all agree, R. Kelly is done. <laughs> this should be a fruitful conversation. I have no idea who Kelly is. On the internet, everyone loves to be so divided. We have, it's basically like everyone is driving into cars. So it's okay to yell at each other. But you get people that it's not. don't agree on the topic in the same room and all of a sudden, I think this is a natural human trait that we, we are naturally agreeable. It's kind of funny. I just threw that in there for no reason. It's just an observation that has nothing to do with the point. Okay, let's keep watching. I yeah. Hey, guess guess who the uh, cancel culture people are? We brought a pro, pro and anti cancel. We brought a pro and anti cancel culture individuals together to spark a dialogue about their differences. Hey, guess so guess who the uh, cancel culture people are? Okay. Billy Billy Eilish stand over here. Doesn't like R. Kelly. Hello, my name is Adib Kadir. Um, He's anti okay, science and I'm a product manager in the tech industry. Um, hi, I'm Will Court. I'm a music student at USC. Hi, I'm Joy Villa. I'm a singer songwriter and I'm anti cancel culture. Yes. I like how she said that. I'm actually anti. You! <laughs> anti! <laughs> I'm not mocking anyone. Diverse group, I would say. And it should I'm be interesting. Pro-ish cancel culture. More. Diverse. Mm. You got a nice. Uh, Hi, I'm Lindsay Rigley. Diverse I'm group, I would say. And it should I'm be interesting. Pro-ish cancel culture. More on the side, but I'm looking. Wanna be Billie Eilish? For this conversation. Hi, I'm Seth Fowler, uh, law school graduate. Here's a hot take. I'm against cancel culture, but everyone, everyone that is for cancel culture needs to be canceled. They need a taste on their own medicine. Yes. We'll get into it. I have so much to say about this. We'll get into it. Me too. I would buy an artist's work even if they committed a violent crime. Hmm. Hmm. I would be inclined to say no, because obviously I don't want to support anyone that does violent crimes. But on the second hand, it's very circumstantial. It's what if they're defending themselves? Then I think it's fair game. But then on the other hand, I probably supported a lot of rappers that have done so let me pause right here. So uh, a lot of people have been throwing statues away, literally. Uh, for me, in my opinion, people who does that is canceling history. It happened. It was hundreds of years ago. It has nothing to do with you. You're acting like the ISIS destroying the big uh, Egyptian statues like they did a few years ago. For me, it's the same thing. Destroying history, it's, it's, it's destroying history. Let's keep going. <laughs> violent crimes. Sorry, sorry, I'm very sorry if I mentioned a terrorist group, but that's, that's, what, that's how I feel like for those people. People who are just rioting for uh, their own benefit. What, what are they gonna benefit it from? Yeah, I'm gonna die with honor and everything. <laughs> it's like rappers are not part of their group. <laughs> Let's get real here. It's teenage girls in charge of any cancel culture movement. 
feel free to tell me if I'm wrong. There's You're a not reason wrong. rap hasn't been cancelled yet. Let's get real here. Humans are a series of impulses on a spectrum of time. Like, we are constantly changing, we're constantly evolving. Have any of you ever, honestly, never not told a lie in your life? Of course, we evolved that. So are you a liar today? Boom! What about? Argument, that's a great point, actually. That new one's is never put today, you can tell clearly. With people digging up old videos and, and using that as evidence. If we want to do cancel culture, I feel like we need, like, a certain time. We need to get more organized, is what I'm saying. A certain time frame. I guess that's the thing, like, you know, I, Shane is the one getting canceled right now, and, you know, you watch it clips and you're like, geez, but it doesn't say when they're made or, and stuff like that. Same with Jenna, you know, you watch it and you're like, ugh, but then knowing, oh, that was actually nine or ten years ago, that, to me at least, that changes things a lot. And it's... What, I, what did I just say about it was hundreds of, of years ago? You got my point. Especially if I know that person has grown out of that. Um, I'm trying to argue both sides here. Like I, I, I think it's good that there's a clear line of what's okay today by maybe referencing things in the past, but I also don't think there's a good uh, reason to cancel someone. I'm feeling extremely embarrassed by what I'm gonna say, but once again, it's the past. There was a moment when I was a teen, I was probably like, I don't know, 14, 15, 16. Around that time you're uh, like looking for girlfriends just to look good, just to look popular and all that shit. Uh, yeah, there was a moment I avoided girls so much because I didn't I didn't understand girls, I tried to, but my emotional ADHD, my emotional kept getting the way. And me and my mother, once we actually thought I was homosexual of some sort. More me than my mother, but still, I've changed, I've changed in that point, I mean. But yeah, again, I'm 27, I'm, I'm about to do 27. Uh... It's been like over 10 years. I've changed on that aspect. I know that I like girls. I appreciate boys, good looking boys, like the older you saw the, the makeup artists. I appreciate the work they do. I think they look awesome with the makeup and that, all that thing. But I still like girls. Easy, get my point here? Let's keep going. For what they did. I, I don't know. I, I, I don't want to say anything. Yeah, damn it. Oh, also, uh, about my emotional... <laughs> about my emotional part, uh, I also thought a moment that I was a psychopath because I was extremely violent. I did beat my mother. Yes, I'm, I feel bad for it. My mother... My mother, of course, forgave me. I've beaten my father, too. He also forgave me. But I've not beaten like uh, throwing throwing a person in, uh, to the point of throwing somebody to the hospital. Don't worry, I'm not that I'm not that strong. I have a I have a muscular problem too, so don't worry. Oh, I have a MD too, so don't worry. I'm not that strong. But still, it's the past. I mean, I've grown up. I've understood. I finally understood what's wrong with me. I finally understood, well, it's not an excuse, but I, I, I evolved, I changed, I took the past to do better now and in the future if possible. Like I'm also a, a school dropout because the system wasn't ready for me. It wasn't me who was at fault, the school system wasn't ready for me. I'm doing music, I've got everything that I want, I've got my speakers, I've got a mandolin, by the way, this is a, a school mandolin, I still have to give that back. <laughs> but I've got everything I want to today. I went to Galacon several times. I nearly went to Bronicon, the last one, but I couldn't because of passport issues. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I hope the sound is not distorting. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna lower the volume a little bit. The last thing I want to finish in is like... I also thought that I was a massive pervert, and this is more recent, this is like five, 
it, it's because it's uh, before I it is before I joined the Brony fandom I thought I was a massive pervert because there was a moment in my life I was uh, 2013 2014 2012 yeah I just I was like 17 17 to 19 years old that's 19 years old that's when I joined the fandom I think it was in 2013 no I was 20 yeah I was 20 back then um, there was a moment I was watching way too much porn way too much anti like dangerous levels uh, dangerous levels that can get you to mentally do stupid things or uh, mentally like have a bad image about things um, yeah a little secret I've got but I've been telling these people or everyone and I think it's the time for me to tell it publicly I did work on some porn back then no I wasn't an actor I just did I did some videos and uh, gave them back um, I don't know if it was a shady business I don't know if the persons back then were the actual persons recording the videos okay this makes sense this doesn't sh seem shady they had a site and everything and yeah uh by the way that's that website i've looked for it uh, it disappeared literally even the wayback machine even from the wayback machine i tried to find that website the other day and i just couldn't find it but yeah they're a group a bit like a group that i follow called suicide girls i really love the photos that they took but yeah that's suicide girls yeah it's a burlesque kind of it's a burlesque kind of website it's like a girls badass girls with tattoos and which love bikes and guitars and music and all that crazy things <laughs> but again um i feel better for following them today with my mindset i've got today instead of the mindset i've got over 10 years ago or uh, no over over five years ago five six seven years well i feel better watching them now because i know it's an artistic thing oh and the, the girls look beautiful the girls are sexy and beautiful but again it's art uh, i can understand the artistical point of it i mean huh, i i don't go like huh they're just fancy looking whores and they're just prostituting themselves and taking pictures to make themselves look better and increase their self-esteem maybe some of the points are right some of others might be wrong some of the points i'm saying but again it's it's the point of view of each person that matters i think that the point of view that you have that matters that should be discussed let's get back to the video I, mean, I haven't thought about this properly. <laughs> I think the issue with cancel culture is it's kind of like this, like you have a cut on your arm, let's just chop the whole arm off. Yeah, it's also, I like, I like this guy, he's got good points. I like that, very good, good metaphors. It's true, he's not wrong, he's not wrong, he's right. The amount of people that work on some of these projects, like think of like a Harvey Weinstein movie, right? He did yeah. terrible things, I wouldn't want to support Harvey Weinstein. But most of his victims are people that were in his movies. By not supporting a Harvey Weinstein movie, you're also not supporting his victims. So it's kind of like you're in a weird spot, right? <laughs> it sounds like a weird argument, but I actually agree with him. Because uh, for me, example, I mean, no, fuck, honestly, Harvey Weinstein movies, I am canceled. I feel terrible about everyone that worked on it. Hundreds of people that never got to show all the, all this, uh, all the guests that we have, all the. So many people on set, planning, organizing, money, all this stuff that never got to show anything for it because of me, and that doesn't feel fair to them. And I'm sorry. So I kind of see his point, but with Harvey Weinstein, nah. You can't bring down the kingpin without bringing down the organization that he built. Ah, got it. I guess that's the problem now. Everyone is a kingpin, apparently. You got a YouTube channel? It's like people are massively overestimating our influence when it's convenient. And why why are they overestimating overestimating the influence why why it's like Pe felix himself said once why people get so worked up about 
things like this. Oh, that Kazoo is purple, should have been black, or should have been white, or, bl or blue. I don't hate it because it's purple, because it's like Thanos and Thanos sucks. Why? Massively undermining it when they feel like it. Oh, it, it, oh him? He's just irrelevant. <laughs> Can you believe he posted this for his hundred of millions of subscribers? <laughs> How many times I hear that? A Whenever lot. It's convenient, the argument A lot. Switches, it's great. So he has said something very interesting to me about like the whole cutting off the arm and the, to fix a cut. And I feel like the exact opposite. Because <laughs> when you talk about how like... You get another arm? Is that what you mean? <laughs> Stop! <laughs> oh, if you're canceling people, blah, 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 and they have good inventions. It's like, there's so many smart people. There are so many smart people. That's where you're wrong. That's why can cancel culture exists. They're smart. Yeah, people are smart. Yes, I understand. But why are they using their smartness to get worked up over kazoos when they can get worked up about voting, for example? It's two different worlds, I know. But me personally, I rarely vote. I know it's bad, but now I'm doing an effort and I'm voting in white, but I'm voting and I'm voting in white with another exception sometimes, but yeah, mostly of the time I'm voting in white, but I vote. I'm expressing my opinion. I don't give a crap about politics at the moment because you're doing a bad job. That's where you're wrong. That's why cancel culture exists. There's too many dumb people. That's the problem. <laughs> Oh my god. Remember last year when James Charles was cancelled and the entire world was so sure that he was a predator? And the amount of people that spread that message around, causing him to almost uh, end up being suicidal. Did we learn anything from that? <laughs> that reaction. The, that face from PewDiePie. They did what? Are they stupid? Are, are, are they even humans? Charles, uh, wow, poor, poor guy. I know that's a makeup artist too. Poor guy. Ouch. I, I hope, I seriously hope, I'm gonna check it right now if that guy is doing okay, uh, Charles. Yeah, he's doing great. Oh. Okay. Okay, it was one year ago? I, I've watched that video. I remember that video. Whoa, to fa it started a year ago. Cancel culture. Okay, let's keep going. I remember that video. I remember seeing that exact video. I was very depressed at that time, but... And that video made me open my eyes somehow, but yeah. Uh, well, uh, no more lies. Uh, James Charles, you got my support, my friend. I don't follow, I don't follow you personally, not even on Twitter or anything. But you've got my support, my virtual, emotional support. I'm, I'm sending a uh, nug to you, uh, James Charles. Did we learn? Maybe we shouldn't point fingers before we know the full truth. No. Maybe you should point that finger sometimes to some stupid people. Uh, censor that, please. And I feel like, for me, I'm doing my part by not choosing not to, like, mess with that person anymore. Look how conveniently they're putting this. What a half baths argument, right? That is not cancel culture. Saying that you don't want to listen to someone, who fucking cares? No one's going to stop you. The problem is that cancel culture wants them to stop making whatever it is they're making. They want the, uh, the platform or all these things. That's the point of cancel culture, saying that, oh, I'm just like, I don't want to listen to them anymore. No, that is not how it works. Just don't listen to it. Don't buy it. You yourself, yeah. absolutely, every individual has the right to say, hey, I don't like this. And you can even tweet about it and say no. But then to start a boycott, that's why yeah. I don't do boycotts. People have different morals. Like, I personally have the right, I withhold the right, I think all of us do, to not go and support these. I support the fact that she's a musician, and I support the fact that she's from another culture too, another background too.
especially that because I like to hear music from all cultures if possible. What cancel culture does is saying, I'm not going to see this person because I don't like this person yes. and nobody else should yes. either. And that's why I hate it. Damn. Smart people. Yes. I like them a lot. So smart they even hurt. Culture is out of control. What the hell is that? <laughs> when was this film? When it started. May 2019. I think it was a what else are you going to do? Now that now it's like, wait, you say you were this and that. Why didn't you go to the police? Ah, they're not gonna listen anyway. You should still. You should still. Still go to the police. Yes. <laughs> People think. Oh. I... <laughs> I don't run my social media. I absolutely do. I read comments. I respond even negative ones. When people say, "I hope you die," somebody should kill your family. You should get raped so that you you have a baby legitimately. You can. I mean, it is online bullying. Cancel culture, uh, rationally, is overall a net positive, I think. But there are sects of cancel culture, like the uh, toxic people that issue the death threats, and of course, those need to be excised. Right. Cancel culture originated out of compassion, the voice for. I guess that's the problem. No one holds the people, the people that are part of the hate mob, accountable. You know. I think, I think the James Charles thing is such a good example because everyone was so on board with canceling James. And now people are deathly defending James to the point where they go after other people for whatever reason. I'm just saying, oh, that is the thing that happened. But wait a minute, you were first, you were ready to cancel him. You don't get the right to switch around, you know? If an influencer did that, if an, they would be held accountable. But for the, a mass group of people, that, that just doesn't exist. So it's like, they're expecting everyone else to be better, but everyone part of cancel culture are no better themselves. It's so childish. It feels pity to even comment about like YouTube drama and all this cancel stuff that's going on. YouTube drama, pony drama. Oh, I've seen I've seen a lot of pony drama. Oof. Why why I love Kim Possible a lot. Did the people who make her sick and depressed went somewhere or uh, what what was the purpose did they gain something from it like i've seen several people getting bullied uh, especially voice actors because of some mistakes they did and even very recently <clears throat> very recently i had an argument with some american brony because there was a person that was impersonating another actual person and she was and the name, uh, it was the person's name and everything. That thing, it's technically a crime. But I'm not, I'm not doxing that person. I could. I know how to do it, but I'm not doxing that person because just of that. You get, you get my point, I think. By the way, doxing is bad. I don't support doxing unless people threat me. Well, first, you're messing with the wrong person. And second, you're losing your time. I'm just gonna troll the hell out of you until you start to have an existential crisis. Oof, that sounded harsh. I'm I'm a bad person. I, I I should I should go kill. I should go kill. Club penguin is bad and club penguin is kill. Like, let's say you wanted to uh, boycott Coca Cola or Nike or something. Imagine if stores started taking Nike shoes out of the store before you could even make the decision as a people to buy it or not buy it. And we yeah. need to have the right and, and the option but at our companies level. Companies not have that right too. I mean, technically, I'm sure something really bad came out about a big brand. I remember there was a brand making balls, making foot soccer balls and shoes, and it had kid labor. It was over 10 years ago, I still remember that, or maybe in those 10 years. And once again, the, the problem was addressed and they stopped it, hopefully. And people have been doing it for so long when the internet was basically the wild west and people said and did whatever they did and wanted and that's kind of what it's part of the charm of youtube people could express themselves completely freely but now with more advertising and more people watching it's clearly slowly developed into a mainstream i gotta say people have a very childish sense of justice it's almost like a i agree totally agree at a childlike level it's probably just me I don't think most people would agree on this. To me, if someone did me bad, I wouldn't feel justice just because other people found out. 
other people need to know this person is bad. The Tati and James situation where Tati was mad, this YouTuber was mad that her friend promoted a brand that wasn't hers. And that was all it took to create the biggest cancel drama in the history of YouTube. Yeah. That's basically the mindset of this person did something bad to me, now I need to do something bad for them and other people need to know about it. That's what I meant. Just to be clear. Just to be clear. Don't cancel me. Ah! If I have a problem with someone, I either stop talking to them or I work it out in private. But that apparently does not exist because everyone on this fucking side is a mentally developed, underdeveloped child. Pretty much. It's like a, a, a child stuck in an adult body. He's, he's just... I don't even... I'm not... I don't even need to record a video anymore. That guy is just proving my points over and over and over again. The should hold celebrities accountable when the justice system fails. Have, have people not been taught that the world isn't fair and is never going to be? <laughs> that doesn't mean you should try, obviously, but it's like, it seems so basic. I don't get it. I clearly don't get it. That's just my take on it. R. Kelly is the first name that comes to mind because he has sex tapes that show his face and people are still like, he didn't do it. We love R. Kelly, he would never. What does she mean when buying her way, their way out? Uh, what does she mean? I think she means uh, because he's rich. Okay, I'm rich, I have the money, I can pay the lawyers and get out faster. Like getting good lawyers? Yeah. Yeah, I can see that actually. That's what happened with Epstein, isn't it? It's a fair point. First of all, how many times? Oh, okay, join the group. Yeah, what's up? Um, how many times in like the United States justice system have we seen guilty people get off innocent and then you find off years later? Well, uh, it takes so long in America because you guys have too much money to spend. In Portugal, it te it takes too long because people are poor and don't have the way to pay lawyers and ex expenses and all that shit. You see, life it, life is unfair. I mean. If you have money, you can drag it more. If you are poor, you might be, you might go to jail for a wrong reason, and that happens a lot in Portugal. People going to jail and staying there for years, and finally getting discovered after all those years that the crime wasn't even there; it was someone else's fault. That happens a lot in Europe. That happens a lot. That point. I think I'm probably more prone to look at things more openly since I technically being cancelled as well and I hope the public will catch on with this <laughs> everyone loves cancel culture until you're the one being cancelled <laughs> curious about your thoughts on this well uh, my take on all this and this is a long video I understand that and I'm sorry for that see ya tomorrow no two days <laughs> thanks to all the members I've been really happy that we can do support ch uh, different charity each month uh, PewDiePie I think two days is not enough <laughs> You've been working every single day, uh, and I know you're not editing your own videos, like me, but that must be a lot of work. Take it easy, man, take it easy. I love your content, take it easy. Well, we've got all the points. I mean, I remember, I'm, just, I'm, I'm, I'm even gonna leave this so you guys can see what I'm doing. Uh, this is the picture I've got of a troll of a person who makes cancel culture a thing. This is, for me, this is the picture I've got from an internet troll. A person, not, not exactly a fat person, a person who doesn't know what to do. He's lost, very lost. So lost that he got this fat, um. but then he lost weight. Somebody like this made a person who looks like that become this or looks sad like this she looks out of herself she looks depressed and i know how to look at persons and that i can recognize facial expressions thank you is this what you want is this your goal what 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 do you win what do you earn are you earning money from hurting a person if you are fuck you and fuck your boss I can't, I can't be, I can't be, I'm trying to be sensitive, not to be pissed, but this just upsets me. It's stupid how much this upsets me. I just want to punch one of my two brand new screens that took me a lot to work for them. 
again. This guy is a troll. And he thought twice and he became this, a good looking guy. Just read it, just, just, just read that. I just saw the video. I'm trying not to lose hope in humanity. I'm so, so, so glad that I'm back and more active in the pony community and I hope it will stay like that for many years to come. I don't know, I'm just, it's sad. It's sad that people do this to other people. People, you trolls, you, you, you have no life. You are losing time on the internet for no reason. It's probably not you who's paying the bills. It's your mom or your, or your father or your aunt. I don't know. You're just... People who troll are just dead weights on this planet. I'm sorry to be this harsh, but... People who troll to the point of a, a beautiful girl looking like this. It's for me, the person who does that to another person is a freaking asshole. And it doesn't deserve. I, I'm not I'm not saying that he should kill himself. No, I don't support suicide. But nobody deserves this. Nobody. Nobody deserves to be mistreated. The videos she did, I don't know this person, I've never followed the content, I just heard about her like a couple times. It's terrible. So yeah, I think I'm gonna end this video because I'm just gonna keep rambling about this. Uh, if you're still here and didn't got pissed off as I am uh, to this point, thank you so much for still being here and watching my videos, that means a lot to me. And yeah, this will become a thing. This actually will become a thing. I will judge. <laughs> I'm not a judge, but I will try to see uh, comment a little bit more on controversy and express my points and why the controversy is stupid. <laughs> I'm not trying to advocate anyone, not judge anyone, but yeah, this might become a thing. If people like this content, this might become a thing. So yeah, guys. Thank you guys for watching and I hope to see you next time. I'm mad as hell and I'm not gonna take this anymore!